Welcome back, Wildcats. And if you went, a great time at prom. Today is Monday, May 15th. And on this episode of Wildcat News, we've got all the news you need to know for both junior and senior high. It's all coming right up, but first, please stand for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Get ready for some great music and performances. The spring band concert is tomorrow evening, and the spring chorus concert is on Thursday evening. Both are at 6.30 in the cafeteria. Attention seniors, if you are interested in being interviewed for this year's Senior Memories video, please sign up with Miss Lyons in the TV studio or with any TV2 slash 3 student by the end of this week. Also for seniors, soon we will begin filming <coughs> MSHS's annual three video words. If you're not familiar with it, you will make a sign describing your MSHS experience in three words. You will be making your signs and filming on Tuesday and Wednesday during B and C block gym classes. What's on the menu for lunch today? Let's go to Bill to find out. Today for lunch we have teriyaki chicken and rice. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Bill. Any 9th or 11th grader who is interested in running for student government could, should see Ms. Ritter in room C43 to pick up a packet. Completed packets are due back by this Wednesday, May 17th. See Ms. Ritter and Ms. Lyons with any questions. Attention all 8th through 11th graders. If you are interested in joining the dance and step team next year, there will be an interest meeting this Thursday, May 18th, after school in room E33. See Ms. Cryer with any questions. The next no place for a hate committee meeting will be this Wednesday, May 17th, after school in room C27. And Fierce Diversity will be holding their annual showcase. This is me next Wednesday, May 24th. Come out and check some great performances out by the team, some alumni as well, and some special guests. It's at 7 p.m. in the auditorium, and admission is $5. What's happening with our Wildcat sports teams today? Here's Evan with the latest. Cross has a game against Pensacan, and softball has a varsity game against Riverside. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Evan. Also in Wildcat Sports, on Thursday, the varsity softball team had an amazing comeback as they rallied in the seventh inning and then pulled out a win with phenomenal defense in the top of the eighth. They beat BCIT 4-3. to three. Great job, ladies. Time now for today's segment. Our reporters were wondering what you thought would be one thing to make our school better. Let's take a look at what some of you said. Mm. Bill and, and yeah. What about you, friend? Just about everything, yo. And this whole side of school it needs a whole. I'm here with. It. Hey, what's up, Calvin? What is one thing that would make the school better? Um, whatever Fran said. <laughs> Fun. More pizza at lunch. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. What is one thing that would make this school a lot better? I don't know. Everything. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. More time on the bathroom pass. Facts. Would you agree? Yeah. What is the, what? Yo, come, yo, come yo, over. Yo. Can you guys please explain to us what is going on right now? <laughs> what the, what just happened? I think Bill should participate in a uh, sock hop. If these people finally decided that Tyra Ohms is out and she can stop hunting me after practice every single day, she's still not getting me. She's still not going to get me, but she's out. Finally, we'd like to wish a very happy birthday to Hannah Brown. Chris Franco. Jonathan Nada Younga. Well, that's all the news we have for you today from all of us in the TV studio. Thanks for watching. Have a magical Monday.